right now. So just talk to people, say hello. All righty. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> I'm just uh, getting coming in here. I'm not sure if uh, you guys can hear me yet. So let me know in the chat uh, that I'll be able to see in a minute uh, if you can hear me. Um, I'm, I'm talking to you from Sausalito. It's a beautiful day. I'm looking out my window. It's uh, the palm trees. They're actually palm trees. Uh, in, we're by a harbor. So when I look out the window, there's, uh, there's palm trees, which is kind of cool because uh, it's pretty cold. We're in Northern California in Sausalito, but they brought in these palm trees by this harbor and, and it's just windy, but it's pretty blue today. And uh, it's been, it's warm. So it's kind of nice. feels like spring is sort of coming. Um, anyway, you guys, let me know if you're here. Um, uh, oh, okay, cool. Uh, let's see. All right. Are these, um, okay, AJ, is this, uh, great. I don't know if that's current. Um, okay, well, we're gonna be, um, I'm, I just gonna, I just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes. We have the free workshop coming up. Um, so I wanted to talk about that, but I also wanted to share some, something that would be helpful. Um, so I've been thinking about that as well. So let me just say we're, you know, we've got the free Art to Life workshop coming up. It's the big thing for Art to Life, the biggest thing of the whole year, and it starts on Monday. And it's gonna be amazing. And I'm gonna go over a ton of stuff next week. And, uh, and, and really try to help a lot, a lot of people get their art further along, get more confident, get more clarity about the kind of work that you want to make and, and how to get unstuck. Uh, so anyway, that all starts on Monday. If you haven't uh, gone to Art Life Free yet, I know some of you um, maybe have, but if you haven't, uh, if you go to Art Life Free, uh, you can sign up and then you can join our Facebook group if you want. Even if you don't, um, you'll still get all the notifications. It's we just need the email and we can send you the, the all the videos and all the you know we, we're going to we got prizes we got all these things so um, so we will uh, we'll, we'll need that from you so hopefully um, you can join that and the Facebook group is it's pretty great because it's like a lot of people all in one place people are, you can post your art in there and we're going to be doing a whole thing we're going to be looking at people's work some during the week and uh and then all the replays are in there as well so i know um this is the artist group we call it the art the art life artist group and there's tons of folks in here and amazing all the different kinds of work i mean talk about diversity of work and all the different levels uh, I just want to say that this free workshop coming up is for all of you, for anybody at any level. There's, there's something for you, um, and I just want to encourage you to come check it out. doesn't matter if you're realistic or if you're abstract or whatever. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to share some things today, a few things over, you know, over a few minutes of some things that have helped me when I'm painting, when, when I'm making my art, when I get stuck. And... Um, and and it came out of it came out of a hard time for me in in my life. I had a a, a patch there for ten or fifteen years ago where um, the economy fell apart and uh, and I I couldn't make any money and it, it was a whole it was a it was a really a hard time for me and so much so that a, a, there was just a lot of things that I point in my life. It's like well that's not working and that's not working and you know, everything just was kind of messed up. And so without going into a lot of details, it was just really hard. And I looked around in this kind of train wreck of my life and I, and I was like, well, there must be, what's the part that I like? You know, there's gotta be, there's always, there's always something in your life, something in a situation. I mean, you know, you get stuck in the rain walking home and it, it's a disaster because you didn't bring a raincoat, but you might experience something that's cool or you might, you know, have to go in under a bus shelter and you'll meet a person or, you know, there's always something that is good that, that is, seems to arise and be more noticeable when things are really hard. And for me at this time, I looked around at, at all the things. I mean, the financial thing was a mess and my relationship was really hard and, and, I just, and I wasn't very confident. I wasn't doing so good. But the one thing that was sort of sitting there like this beautiful little pearl was my art. And it was, 
damnedest thing, you know? It was like, oh my God, this is like pretty bulletproof and pretty great that I get to do this. And I, and I, I did more of it actually and, and, and got into it. But I'm, and, and that led me out, that led me out of the challenge that I was in. Um, I'm talking to you today because of that, because I'm, I got into helping people once I figured out how to get my stuff going and I was, it was helpful to, to share that. So, but I tell you this story because getting unstuck in your art is not that much different. And, and here's, here's how it relates when you're stuck and it's usually in the middle part right it's in the middle part and starting is kind of cool and there's a lot of energy and finishing if you like it it's kind of exciting but the middle part when you don't know what's going on is kind of um is the hard part you can't see it you lose objectivity you start questioning yourself you know and the thing can be kind of go off the rails a little bit but the question the question you want to ask and i'm going to share three questions with you that i use the question you're going to ask um when you look at this mess is what part of this right you know what part of my life is you know is is good is, is what what has a redeeming quality to it you know so that's the same thing with your art like look in that and look for something that is of interest to you, something that's exciting, something that's uh, got some energy for you. And it's completely personal, right? It's not like there's good parts and bad parts. It's only what res you respond to. You want to identify that. You want to find the little nugget in the mess, okay? And then when you can see it, this is what's so important because then then you can start realizing like okay you know how can i like when you notice that you can do more of it or you can make it more show up more right you can you can make it more visible um okay now i got the comments here jane nice to see you from australia and leanne it must be pretty early i think there i'm not sure um and uh so anyway so this this idea of finding the you know looking into your work and seeing something that lights you up in in that that's a huge breadcrumb it's a huge breadcrumb to where you need to take it okay so so now the next question becomes how how can i make that part more noticeable right and it, it's kind of like you know it's pretty simple coaching if somebody's got a life and it's pretty challenging and and the therapist or whoever's coaching you says you know well what parts do you like and it's like well i really just like i like you know the best part of my day is the 20 minutes when i go for a hike or i um i cook myself breakfast i just really like cooking and it's actually the only thing i enjoy the whole day it's not bad advice to say well you know what maybe you should just do like extend that time a bit, you know, or maybe cook dinner as well, you know, do more of it. So this is what we're going to do. When you see the thing, when you grok the thing that has some juice for you, how can I make that be more visible to myself? So that could be paint out the other areas. That's a really good way. What I tend to do is I just do more of that thing that I like. I just go for it and, and show more of it. Okay, so that's that's kind of a really great way. And, and guess what? If you show more of the little thing that you like, the painting will get more, you'll like it more. It's kind of simple. And, and this is a wonderful thing because now you're liking the work better, right? And so then you can kind of keep going with this pattern of questions. Does that make sense? Um, okay. Uh, oh, good. Avi, nice. Come, sitting in New Zealand. Um, Fantastic. And Kate in sunny Southern California. Yeah. So these are really, this is powerful to come up with some ways of working, some ways of thinking that can help your work. I'm going to be sharing this kind of more deeply in the free workshop. So this is just kind of a, a little warmer or warmer upper. Um, but so, so that first question, what part of and it's you could ask this about your work right now like look at your work on your table look at your work behind you and there's lots of different things and some are good and some are you know first of all which of those things what are which things did you make last year what two or three things do you really like it's crazy sometimes we don't take the time to ask ourselves these questions but therein are the clues 
for your own journey of your own amazing artwork, for your own creative path, and to make your work more and more personal. There is no other way to do it. So we're just doing a microcosm of that on your actual painting. So that second question, how, how can I make that be more visible? Well, quiet down the rest of it, you know, um, paint out parts, do more of it, make that one part that you like really big. So that kind of rolls in to now you kind of getting it and you're liking it more. Certainly there's more of it that you like. You can see it more. You can feel it more. And by the way, other people can feel it more, which is important. Um, but this third idea is that um, we want to optimize it, right? We want to optimize it. And that's just another word for enhancing, making it even more strong. So this is the question that you can ask yourself what is the opposite of the parts I love, right? So let's say you have this beautiful blue, you know, saturated area that you really like in your work and you just love that. And we wanna make it feel more like that, even more noticeable, even more powerful. Well, what can you put beside it? What, if you can think of what's the opposite of that? Well, something very plain, something very not colorful, something very, it could be textural if the color is smooth, you know? So it's the opposite. If it's figurative, if it's a figure and it's beautiful and you love it, what would look so good next to that might be the opposite, might be something that is flat that doesn't have any rendering in it at all. Or maybe what you love is really textural. So you put something around it, the opposite of that is really smooth. When you have the opposite of the thing next to the thing that you love, it makes it more clear. It's crazy. It's such a simple idea. When your work has clarity about what you love, it's good it's super super strong and it translates and when and when you can feel it really powerfully others can too and guess what that's what the work is that you click on with that you like on instagram the, the work that's getting thousands of likes the work that sells the work that is is viral in a way that that moves people emotionally it's because it moves the person who made it They're, they've got it it's clear it's it's a strong message you know it's it's just that you know it's like if you're not sure and your work's not really sure then the person looking at it's not really sure and and they kind of pass but if it's a thing if it's like this this is what i love check it out oh my god <laughs> that is irresistible <laughs> okay so that's those questions you know what part do I love the most, right? How can I make that part show more, show up even more, more noticeable? And then what is the opposite of the part that I love? How can I bring that into the mix to optimize this picture or optimize this art? And by the way, this works for, for our feelings as well, you know, our emotional states. If we're making art and we're really tired you know um it's really fun to like take a risk and do something wild like we have the, this is this makes us feel alive by the way these opposites and i'll be talking a ton about this in the free art to life workshop what i'll be giving you guys um over next week is a whole methodology to to making any kind of work that's in here i mean i know the variety and the cool stuff all the renderings that there's abstract stuff there's uh, poster likes things, there's photography things, there's sculptural things, there's, uh, there's fabric things. This is all, what I'm talking about today is it all relates and, and it can really speed up your progress. And, and that's what I love. That's what I'm, that's what we're doing at Art to Life. We're like helping people get this and just blow it up and just take it and run with it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm really excited. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited about this in a good way. I'm excited about starting on Monday. So you guys, anyway, I just, um, I don't wanna go on too long here. Christine, thanks for being here. Tarina, nice, nice to see you. 
Okay, you guys, listen, I'm going to hop um, again, um, art life free. Uh, do come along, do sign up um, because you're going to get all the information. You're going to get all the replays. You're going to get uh, all, everything that we've created for you. So I hope you do that. And I hope I see you uh, first thing Monday. Okay, you guys, 